let us understand what does a future ready combat vehicle mean and what is it all about so in simple terms a future combat platform design must cater for future battlefield environment and technological possibilities in order to address the future battlefield scenario and the envisaged force profile in the coming years the frcv needs to be developed on a modular concept with a high degree of flexibility in a manner that as a tank platform it can address the varying requirements of different terrain configurations at the same time it can provide the base on which a family of vehicles catering to the operational needs of various arms of the army can be developed it would possibly be required to operate across developed semi desert or desert terrains and in high altitude areas across the entire spectrum of conflict it will be a technologically enabled futuristic tank to cater for current and future operational requirements beyond the year 2050 the main battle tank frcv being the forerunner will pave the way subsequently for a family of supporting platforms based on a modular approach and base platform standardization so the frcv program provides for the creation of at least 10 different types of armored vehicles infantry fighting vehicles and engineering vehicles the new tank that has been created under the new fmbt program should replace the t72 tanks of the indian army the main requirement is that the military and auxiliary equipment designed under these programs must be the intellectual property of the indian government the winner of the competition must bring it to the stage of mass production that said the requirements for the fcrv program imply the presence of an artificial intelligence fire control system and a high level of general automation of machinery the crew has to be reduced to 2 to 3 people with the use of an automatic loader the tank should have minimal visibility in the ir spectrum while the augmented reality technology will allow the crew to see through the armor to a conclusion it is better to mention that particular emphasis is placed on driving performance the desired fcrv power to weight ratio of 30 hp while there is a requirement of countering unmanned aerial vehicles with non kinetic means of destruction on the other hand the downside is that not a single modern tank including the t14 armata meets the indian requirements